Okay, we're going to try um, the stainless FX, which is a new patina process. We're going to try it on several metals today, uh, six altogether. Aluminum, brass, stainless, mild steel, copper, and galvanized. And I can tell you right now, using the um, activator on the stainless, uh, excuse me, on the aluminum, on the uh, galvanized, I could tell right away it was just going to make it kind of dirty and black, and it, it, it's it's a fail. But I wanted to test it and see. I was quite surprised with the copper and the brass. It did it did a pretty good job. The aluminum coming up, I hate to tell you, is a fail. It it um, no matter how much you try and how many applications you do it mostly wipes off and I can't explain that metallurgically but I, I do know that it, it didn't leave a very pretty finished product that might be overcome by leaving the um, patina on longer um, but it's hard to say you'd have to experiment the stainless FX patina was not formulated with anything other than stainless in mind as I get a lot of requests for uh, stainless patina, but very, very few for aluminum or, or copper. Most, most copper patinas require a hot process. All, all of my patinas are cold process. Um, I don't really like fussing with a hot process patina. It's uh, too time consuming and the results are unpredictable. Plus, I don't work with non-ferrous metals hardly at all. But as this video goes along, you'll see that um, I'll do some close-ups as I can. And you'll see that uh, aluminum and galvanized, which are the uh, galvanized the top underneath the uh, bull head. And uh, aluminum is one I'm working on right this second. And both of those, to me, are, are total fails. Uh, but you, you can be the judge. The color, some of the color stayed, but then when I wiped it with my finger, or wow, that was cool. When when I wipe it with my finger or a wet rag, it, it about 90% of it comes off. So that, that's that's not too cool. But then again, I didn't I didn't formulate stainless FX to work on anything other than stainless. So we're just trying something to see if we can get uh, double, triple, quadruple bang for your buck by using it on other metals. But um, I'll tell you something else too. What you see bubbling there is pretty unusual because the uh, activator is not that acidic. But what you're seeing is a release of hydrogen gas. And even though it's odorless, it's not not safe. Um, so I, I wouldn't recommend using the activator on aluminum unless you've got a, a fume hood or, or you're working outside with a little cross breeze. Um, I, cutting aluminum with a plasma cutter, as you know, is kind of dicey, if not done correctly. And none of the other metals uh, gave me that hydrogen off-gassing like the aluminum did with the uh, activator. So be warned, beware. Um, not recommended for aluminum. Brass um, is mostly copper, it, usually 80% plus copper content. So uh, it's not surprising that it worked well on copper and, and brass as well. I didn't have any bronze laying around, but bronze and brass are very, very similar in, uh, in uh, alloy composition. I was a little surprised how well it worked on the mild steel. 
as you can see in the bottom right hand corner um, uh, th that's just runoff from the stuff above here I'm trying not to give up on that aluminum but it's a it's a dying horse Bubbles usually mean troubles, so just be, be aware that uh, there is some off-gassing going on and I would suspect it's a release of hydrogen, which is not cool. You can see there's some discoloration, uh, some would call it a patina, I, I think it's just dirty aluminum, I, I'm, not, I'm not too uh, keen on it. Here I'm going back down to the mild steel um, and putting the activator on and then the uh, stainless at backs and it was really quite quite vivid uh, what it did is pretty pretty cool. Well, what, what am I doing here? Oh I think I Holy crap, I think I, I pulled the camera off the mount and I wanted to show you um, this little basin I'm using is just a couple inches deep. I've got them on, on the website for sale. There's my, my buddy. I, I don't know. I don't, he has, doesn't have a name. It just I think his name is Burl. And this is Burn. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you this. Uh, I'm working on a, a three foot by eight foot packing table basically inside the shop because it's so blooming hot outside it's like 110 and I wanted to show you that that to carry the runoff I, I tilted the right upper right corner and the lower right corner I drilled a hole through and then I ran some uh, uh, eighth inch uh, copper tubing through it flared the end heated the plastic and then embedded the copper into the plastic and it goes underneath my table into a bucket my name is Bill Warden. I not only guarantee great products, I guarantee great service. You have my word on it. Thanks for watching.